bum 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 ba ba bum bum ba and welcome back to a recent release review folks that's the answer to the this thing so let's talk about the new batman film the batman and boy how did i have a lot to say about this Whew, this was one outstanding movie and it took about two hours, which two hours long, but still a great flick nevertheless. I don't want to spoil anything at the end, but let me tell you the ending, whoo mama. Anyway, this is about Batman trying to solve the Riddler's riddle. And let me tell you, this is gonna be the most capitally looted Riddlers I ever seen. I mean, all the riddles, wow, I bet if I couldn't solve them. Oh, it kind of a channeling that whole Chris and Bale Batman films, but it took something new with this. I mean, a lot of twists and turns in this film. I don't want to spoil what they are, but hey, let me tell you, there are surprises, baby. And much of my surprise that wine little twerp Edward, or rather his actor, to play the guy, did a really good job playing both Bruce Wayne and Batman. Those are words I thought I'd never say. And wow, did he prove me wrong in this role? I mean, was he right to you? Oh my goodness! If only it was this good in Twilight. And thank goodness I skipped out of those films. But anyway, not only that, Catwoman was great, Penguin was great, Riddler was great, and Commissioner Gordon was great, and and all the fights. Wow! And not to mention, it's in Selena Kyle. She did pretty good in well. This is more a sadistic and murderous version of the Riddler if I saw one. And hey, look, Doug Walker made a cameo. Or rather, a guy who looks like Doug Walker. So then again, Batman would punch a Doug for all the times he criticizes the movie. He, well, except for the back of the credit card thing with Batman around, but I digress. And well, I especially love the, uh, the title of The Batman. Not to be confused with The Batman from the TV show way back when, but anyway, I give this movie a great thumbs up. It had great effects, great characters, and, and well, uh, it all had great a portrayal of Bruce Wayne's younger years as Batman. And wow, this movie was fantastic. I'm sure you get delayed due to the controversy, but still, I give this all rating of a uh, 10 out of 10 is that good. Is it the best Batman film? Well, I'll let you guys decide in the comments below. And that's all for today. See you all next time. Farewell, friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Patreon, Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, FanFiction.net, Rattled, and Casting Call Club.